Hey folks, Globku here, and uh, today we have some more gameplay for Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. We're bringing you some Uchiha gameplay. I've recorded a lot of games uh, during my stay at Gamescom, and uh, not a lot of those games were 4v4 battles. So today I'm bringing you two battles, one playing as Uchiha Sasuke, and another one playing as Hatake Kakashi, who is not really an Uchiha, but uh, is actually the only one that has the Sharingan ability, or was the only one at the Gamescom build, so I'm very glad that I got to play them. I'm gonna show you the two games, but bear in mind that none of them are 4v4 battles. Uh, the first one, for instance, that we're about to watch is me versus a uh, friend of the channel, Rurikan, who uh, we were just waiting for people to arrive, and we decided to have a one-on-one -on -one battle. All right, here we are, folks, with uh, Uchiha Sasuke. This is a flag battle, which was the only game mode that was available at Gamescom. And uh, me and my friend Ruri Khan, link in the description below for his YouTube channel. Uh, we were just waiting for more players to come into the room. The room was pretty empty at the time, so we decided to do a 1v1 battle uh, while we were waiting. So let's break down uh, Uchiha Sasuke's abilities for this build. Uh, he uh, has uh, the most traditional of substitution jutsus on the R2, which uh, just turns him into a log. On the circle, his ranged weapon weapon is just a kunai, also very, very simple. On the L1, we have the Shidori, which is a melee attack, but Sasuke is actually a range-type character, which means range-type characters will probably have access to the Shidori, even though it's a melee uh, attack. So there's some, you know, people with, that want to have a Shidori can have a Shidori. Sasuke was obviously gonna have it, but I'm surprised that it's a part of the array of abilities for ranged characters. On the R1, we have the Fireball Jutsu, which is a projectile, and uh, then his secret ninjutsu, his ultimate attack, is the Kirin, which engulfs an area in lightning. It takes a while to activate, it's very hard to execute in 1v1, as you're about to see, after I fall to my death. So, what happened there was Kakashi used the substitution uh, jutsu, and his substitution is actually a Kage Bunshin, or a, a Lightning Bunshin, a clone, a Lightning clone, I, I'm not sure. But uh, he, he created a clone, and I kept attacking the clone, and uh, I, I'm still struggling with the controls at this point, so I couldn't really save my fall. It was easy, uh, an easy fall to save, but... Uh, I couldn't do it. I'm trying to do the fireball jutsu here, and as you can see, he keeps interrupting me. There's a big wind-up, so you do need some time to get it off. Uh, and Kakashi is a very strong attack character, as you're about to find out. Here's a Shidori, and the follow-up with a melee attack. That's right, you can do a Shidori and still follow up with a combo. Because he hit the wall, I was able to f prolong the combo even more. And if it goes for me, it goes for you, Kakashi. You can interrupt my fireball, I can also interrupt your... Uh, Lightning Blade. Unfortunately not there, as he ends up killing me. A lot of people have been asking for a 1v1 game mode, and I think this is a very good, good showcase of why that's not a feature. I mean, I think in the final game, if you have a private lobby, you can do stuff like this, where you can just, you know, have a friend join your lobby and start the game without having a full team of four players. But, what I think... I think a lot of characters are just gonna be broken for one versus one. I don't think Sasuke was a very strong character for one versus one, for instance. Uh, me and Rurikan were playing, I uh, had already played two matches of this game by the time uh, we play, we recorded this one, and this is the first time Rurikan is playing. He literally just has to press L1 to do his lightning blade, and look at the damage that thing does. I, I really had to put it in a lot of effort. Here's my ultimate attack, the secret technique, Kidding. You can see it in the left, kind of. Uh, you're going to have a, another chance to see it better uh, further down uh, this video, but it's very easy to dodge. Uh, it, there's a very big circle that appears on the ground, and players just have to move away from it. So the Kirin seems to be a very powerful ability that can, uh, you know, kill multiple enemies, but you need a teammate to hold those enemies in position, because if it's a 1v1, they can dodge it. Uh, without any any issues at all. Uh, we weren't really going for the flags, we were just kind of doing some duels, so uh, we weren't trying to win the game, we were trying to win battles, so we were just kind of battling each other. I'm struggling with the camera a little bit. Uh, for, for you to lock on to your target, and here I locked on to him and he immediately used a substitution, so I was locked on to his clone and not to him, actually. For you to lock on to a target, you need to have him in sight. You can't just, uh, you know, be looking in a random direction, and if there's a target near you, uh, you just press the uh, the right thumbstick uh, to, to lock on. No, it has to be in sight. Uh, and that's something that I was kind of struggling with a little bit. Movement is really important, as uh, you're about to learn with, uh, with the coming weeks. I have some more gameplay for you guys. Uh, next week, I think I'm going to show you some Byakugan gameplay. Uh, two weeks from now, I might post uh, my very first match, which was uh, as a Sand Ninja. 
Huh, he was my favorite character of the whole thing, but uh, I was still learning movement and it was tough. So as you can see, I I'm trying to keep my distance, but substitution jutsu and uh, the Shidori, or the Raikiri actually, the lightning blade, allow Kakashi to get in real, real close. And uh, it's hard for me to keep my distance in a 1v1 scenario, which is why I think, you know, there he goes, dead again. The tracking on the Raikiri, on the lightning blade, is just insane. I was trying to dodge it left and right, I knew it was coming multiple times. But I just couldn't dodge it, you know, the, using the jump, using the dodge button, nothing. Uh, it, the tracking is kind of insane. Uh, I later, after, right after this game, I figured out that if you just hold L2 and don't press the direction, you can actually block, and that might be the the actual good way to uh, to block his, uh, his uh, lightning blade. And here we go, full combo with the Shidori, followed up by a melee combo and finish him up with some kunai. My secret technique is ready to be launched, I'm noticing that, so I'm probably gonna want to use it in the next duel that we have. We only have 50 seconds left, and so far my conclusion is, yeah, I really have to put in the work to defeat Kakashi, because he is the more powerful character in a 1v1. And I think that's gonna be the case for all attack-type characters versus range-type characters. I think attack-type characters are gonna be perfect for 1v1, and uh, I, uh, the only type they're gonna have trouble with is the defense type, which can hold them off for a very long time. Using the substitution to get out of a tough situation there, he also used the substitution, but he used it on a kunai, so I thought this is my opportunity, here's a kid in, he's out of range already. So here's, that's that's what I mean, it's very, very tough to, to land. I somehow dodged his lightning blade right there, and uh, survived that fall, seven seconds left, five seconds, I uh, don't think there's gonna be a clear winner to this battle. Except there is, because I died. So yeah, if you're a ranged character, I really wouldn't advise you to go 1v1 against an attack type. You're more of a guy that stands behind your teammates and offers support. That's probably your best role in a team setting, and that's probably also why there is no dedicated 1v1 game mode in uh, Shinobi Striker. But uh, without further ado, let's look at some Kakashi footage. This was a 2v3 game, this time Rurikan, instead of fighting against me, he's gonna be supporting me as Sakura. Here we go, as Kakashi, as you can see, he has a lightning clone uh, for his R2. So, it works kind of like the Kagebunshin, when you're getting hit, you press R2 and you leave a clone in your path, and you saw how many times he fooled me with that uh, when I was fighting against Rurikan. Because uh, if you're locked onto an enemy, you will automatically lock onto the clone. So you, you will need to, you know, fumble with the camera a little bit to find the real target, and that will take time, and that's an opening that the opponents can take advantage of. Uh, on the circle we have Kunai, nothing special over there either, and uh, the L1 is the press to win button. <laughs> you use the lightning blade and kill everyone. Unfortunately, I got hit by the recent shuriken there, but here we go. Look at the damage that thing does. You just press L1 and the quarter of his life bar is gone. You follow up with a melee combo. That's some insane damage on the sand ninja right there. Naruto countering. I'm doing a, we're, we're doing a 2v2 here. Sakura is obviously backing me up. Uh, we're playing against a team of three. Once again, uh, it's, uh, it's a sand ninja and two Naruto characters because no one has any creativity over here. The Sand Ninja goes down, all that's left is the two Naruto characters. I'm trying to follow up the melee combo because I bounced Naruto against the wall and that gives me an opening to continue to prolong my combo. Charging up the Lightning Blade and look at the tracking of that thing, going over to Rain and landing perfectly on Naruto there. Couldn't exactly follow up the combo, I'm having some camera troubles there, activating my Sharingan because I'm very low on health, and the Sharingan is a defensive ability. It works kind of like a substitution that you activate before you get hit. So basically, as the Sharingan is activated, you will see like a trail coming out of Kakashi's eye. There will be other instances where I do that, so don't worry, you don't need to pull the video back, you'll see it. Uh, and as I, if I get hit, by any jutsu during that time, I will actually heal a little bit and uh, I will disappear and appear behind the enemy, uh, my, my target or somewhere else. I, I will dodge the jutsu, basically. Unfortunately, I got taken down by Naruto over there. I didn't know where my healer was, I, where Sakura was. Apparently, uh, she was getting the flag, which was good because uh, now this team is actually playing for objectives. Missing the lightning blade over there and uh, I'm trying to protect my flag at all costs because the Sand Ninja is trying to get it. This is his uh, secret jutsu, his ultimate. It's uh, the water prison and he can actually follow up with any combo here. I activate the Sharingan 
Shingen and immediately negates his attacks because I was afraid of what's gonna come out of there. Uh, because this is the first time this player was playing the game, he didn't actually combo into anything. Uh, but I was afraid he was preparing something, but probably wasn't. He probably was just lo looking at the technique and being like, Huh, oh, this is cool. I, I made a water prison. Uh, unfortunately, that's gonna cost him dearly. As you can see, his health is already pretty low. And now we're in a 2v1 situation. Sakura coming to the rescue. I'm here to finish the job. Sakura heals me up. And we're good to go. Now, Sakura captured the enemy flag, but didn't bring it all the way home. Uh, she actually dropped it midway. And uh, I'm going to get it while Sakura protects our own flag. There you go. Get the flag. Get back. And now, I think I have some dudes on my tail. Now, you do move a little bit slower with the flag. Uh, or at least that's the impression I get from watching uh, this again. There are, there are debuffs in this game. Someone, was, someone noticed that uh, the description of Sakura's healing technique said uh, that uh, it would remove any debuffs. And uh, people started wondering, huh, I wonder if there are debuffs and stuff. The only thing I saw in this, uh, in my time with the, with, with the game at Gamescom was uh, a tag that was assigned to the circle button that would slow uh, enemy movement. So yeah, they would be very slow. I'm using the Kamui here, my secret technique, but once again, just like the Kirin, you need someone to hold them down. Uh, I will have some gameplay where the Kirin killed me, and it's a one-hit kill. Uh, I was full health and it just killed me. Here we have Sakura with a melee combo. I'm finishing up with uh, the lightning blade and some more melee abilities. And uh, we decided, you know what, this time I'm gonna go capture the flag myself. You stay here and protect it. And no you don't! You're gonna throw a Rasen Shuriken at me, Naruto. Not in my house! Lightning blade interrupts it and you saw how accurately that thing tracked. Lightning blade is so, so powerful in this game. Uh, we're gonna get uh, another look at Kakashi's survivability abilities because, you know, the Sharingan is really, really powerful. I see this guy coming for me, I charge my jump, jump over him, and now the flag is uncontested. If you look at the bar, I was so close to capturing it here. So I activate the Sharingan, negate the uh, Rasen Shuriken, and I wasn't paying close enough attention to the bar. It was almost full over there, but I decided to go in for the attack. Now you're gonna see some survivability. Uh, with uh, the the Sharingan here. I'm in a 2v1 situation. I have 15 health activate the Sharingan bam 100 health then the lightning blade knock one dude down I'm in a very bad spot. I know I'm in a very bad spot So I'm gonna retreat for a little bit see if someone follows me I'm gonna try to juke them a little bit with my movement They seem to be baiting it. Okay, Naruto seems to be looking for me So this is a 1v1 situation now. I might actually go in with a lightning blade be able to take care of this guy before Naruto figures out where I am. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't combo the wits, and Naruto is already back. I activate the Sharingan again as a defensive maneuver in case they hit me. I'm protected. Gonna charge my lightning blade for when someone comes up here chasing after me, and the match times out. As you can see, the Sharingan makes you extremely, extremely survivable. It's a very good defensive ability. I, I believe there will be other Sharingan abilities uh, to use in the games, maybe something a bit more offensive. I mean, we know there's the Amaterasu and uh, we know there's the Kamui. Those are both offensive abilities with the Mangekyo Sharingan. But the regular Sharingan for now, it seems that it's just kind of a substitution jutsu, which, hey, it looks very powerful. Substitution Jutsu is one of the most powerful abilities in, in Shinobi Striker. It was also in the Storm games. And uh, instead of having one, you have two. That's, that's a very good thing in my book. But that's all the gameplay I have for you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe because uh, we'll have more gameplay next week. And if you want to know more about character creation, here are some of the weapons that have already been announced to be in the game, as well as some of the weapons that I would like to have personally. If you're in the mood for something else, there's also this video right here, but as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!